Solving a Rubik's Cube is cool. Solving a Rubik's Cube is fun. But most importantly, it is easy. So today, I'll be showing you how to solve a Rubik's Cube. Very, very easy. And to solve a Rubik's Cube is to get used to the cube. So you're, you're with the cube, but you have to get used to this cube. So like start performing little algorithms like... Well, today we're going to be teaching you the YD algorithm. So the YD algorithm is very easy. All you have to do is just do one, two, and do it in reverse. One, two. So again, one, two, one, two. It's, you can practice it. You should practice this while you're doing the cube too. Practice going one, two, one, two. Very easy. This is a very easy one. So you want to know the first step is solving the Rubik's Cube. So the first step is solving the Rubik's Cube is Daisy. So like, a, the script might not Daisy is like, like um, a yellow in the middle with the four whites on the sides. So what the easy part of doing it is let's do a start. Look, let's move this one space to so be have one with that easy, okay? Another one, easy. Yep, if you, when we have one D's on the sides, it's going to be a little different. This is a beginner's tutorial, so it will help beginners. Let's see. So this one button is the right area, so we're supposed to turn it and put it in the right area. Now this one, let's see, we see it's connected to this, right? So what we have to do, we shouldn't, we shouldn't do this, otherwise it won't be in the right position. So what we have to do is put it like this and then put it in. And now it's in the right position, then you yeah, get this part, you don't do that. You double twist it and then you double twist it. Put it into the right position. Now, you have to do Daisy. Now, the next step into solving the Rubik's Cube is to make the right cross. So all you have to do is, you see this? All you pretty much have to do is just put everything down two times, that's all. Just put everything down, that's pretty much, you already got your right cross here. Now we're going to solve the right, right? So you see this? And this? It's not in the right position, so we're, let's try doing the right algorithm. Up and then we go now. We can just get this thing into a wide area. No, not the way so we have to go down. Are you see? Let's turn it to the right and down and then turn it back. Then, after you turn it back, then you have to pull this thing up, turn and the right, and put it to the right. Put, put it to the right, right? But do not do this. You gotta put up, right, and then down. And you do it to you solve the right. So, see, take this thing out. Now you double twist it here, then look. You don't put it here. You put it up, right, and then down, right? Right here. You pull it up, right, no, and pull it. Remember, no, not pull it here. Pull it up, pull it. I mean, this is a little different, so you have to pull up, right, up, right, and then down. Like, same thing we've all been doing. And there we go. Now we have solved well, the, the second step into solving the Rubik's Cube is to solve the second way. So you see, we've got one of these in. Is uh, all you have to do is do one algorithm. Let me teach you. Not another algorithm. Yes, another algorithm. So your next algorithm is just to do up, down, down, up, up, right two times, down one time, right up. Then we try to do that over and over, and you finally got your little algorithm. Next, look, see, look, see this. This might be a hard part. It's another algorithm still, but it's still part of the algorithm. But look, you'll want to get this over here, right? But you don't need to do this. You're going to mess up the white. You can't mess up the white. So what we got to do is pull it away from the red and the green. I know this may not make sense, but it work. Then you pull the white up, right? It's very slow. You have to do it, okay? Up. Right. And then down. Look, we got this part solved. Right to the side and down to the side and under your last move. And that's how you do it. Then remember we got this thing again, so we had to do this algorithm again, remember? There we go. Now we had to do our next step right here. We found um now it's not to go here, remember, but we're supposed to pull it back. And do a little algorithm. Remember, we have to go up, 
down, up, down. Twist it here and undo the last one. We undo the first move. And there we go, you got it. Now remember we got this again, so we have to do this again. Okay, remember this move. If you want to, you can go back to the video. You can go back. You can go down the video and you can do it. You can go back to the time. Time. So remember, you got this. You have to do this. Pull back, up, and back, and down. And there we go. It's you just solved the whole thing. Now, next point, you see this right here? You could have got a dot. You could have got a dot. You could have got this, or you could have got a hook. It looks like this. I'll show you. It looks like this. But if we got this, it's the same thing. All of anything, you get the same thing. So we have to do it to the first move. Or the algorithm. And then undo the first move. And you have just made, um, you just have to do it. Then you have to do it again. Have it to the right angle, do it again. Do this, why the algorithm. And undo the first move. This, why the algorithm. Undo the first move. Until you get the cross. We're trying to do the white right cross here. We're trying to make the white right cross. So this is the third way we're doing it. So we see, do this. Why the algorithm. Undo the last move. Almost got the cross here. This. Why the algorithm. Undo the last move. This. Why the algorithm. Undo the last move. This could be some mistakes you do. So do this. Why the algorithm. Undo the last move. This. Why the algorithm. Undo the last move. I don't know what's happening, but some mistakes happen by this. So what you have to do. Do it again till you get a jewel. Why the algorithm? There we go. Put it to the right angle. Now we have to do it. Did. Top. Why the algorithm? And pull. Undo last move. This. Why the algorithm? Undo last move. And it could have been the polar problem here. We have to put it to the right angle. So this. Why the algorithm? Undo last move. And then that's how you do it. Undo last move. Exactly. Again. This. Why the algorithm? Undo last move. And there we go. We have that created the cross. Now our next move, our next algorithm. Wait, another algorithm? Yes, it's another algorithm. But if you have eyes, it's gonna be very, very easy. So what you have to do is cut, go up. Look, so move it up, right, down. You put up, down. Pull down so you can put this over here to make a curl line again. Then pull up again. Turn right two times and go down. And work, we have to solve each one. But if, if this is if this is very lucky, so if this doesn't happen, then you pretty much if you only get these two right and you only have this two, so all you have to do is just do um, the same move again. Again. Anybody want to know what this move is called? This algorithm called it's called the soon. Um, you can look it up on the thing. Now, you can look it up on Google, you can look it up if you want to look it up. Now, let's see. Now, we got this step. Now, the next, the last final, I mean, the step right before the final step is to solve. They put all the corner pieces inside the white piece. They put them into the white area, but they don't solve them yet, but just put them into the white area. So, what you have to do is you have to do another algorithm. But another algorithm, well, if you have eyes, it's gonna be very easy, easy because all you have to do is you have to do this. Look. So it's this algorithm, you have to go up, right? But where's the last time? But you don't have, you're not gonna go down again. You're just gonna pull up and then right again. And then you can pull it right back again and then pull down and pull back to get to the right and pull down. And um, you just got um most of them solved. So if you got one of these solved. Well, if you got one of them, like, not like this, but you got one of them, let me show you real quick. Like this, they're both the same thing. But if you got to solve like this, it's better, but it's the same thing. So, what you have to do, you have to just go like this. Do the same thing. Okay. Also, if you want to know what the algorithm's called, it's called Nicholas. N-I-K-O-L-A-S. Good old Nicholas. Now, what we got to do next, we do Nicholas right here. 
Okay, and we got, if we do Nicholas, we get some pieces soft somewhere. We get a soft, so what we have to do, which one's soft? We don't have any soft, we only have one soft, so if that happens, we can do Nicholas one more time. Okay, now we got them soft. Now, this weapon final parts is all soft, so all we have to do, we can just move these pieces, and it will be soft. Final step to solve in Ruby Cube is it to do YD algorithms. But you can all but do not do anything else. Warning, do not do anything else. Because if you do anything else, like move the cube to the side, you're gonna have to start from square one. So let's get started with doing this. All we have to do is just move the side, the bottom. But do not move like switch the cube and then do another YD algorithm. Don't do that. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start from square one. Now, let's start. Let's do a first YD algorithm, second YD algorithm, third YD algorithm, fourth YD algorithm. Twist the bottom because you saw that one. First YD, fifth YD algorithm, and sixth YD algorithm. And look. Let's do this, and do this, and you'll just have your first Ruby Cube. Very cool, huh? Now these methods are going to be in the description, so let's try it, man.